Howdy. Sorry for the late entry. Uh, today was my one of my days off for this week, and because it's Thanksgiving, and I thought I was going to do this earlier, especially with it only being eight verses, but it didn't pan out that way. So, yeah. Alma chapter 6. That's what we're reading today. So before we begin, I invite you to hit pause and say a prayer and ask for discernment and give thanks for whatever you're thankful for. And I mean, pray for whatever you need to pray for, but work in some thanks and a request for discernment. Because that way you'll get out of these eight verses whatever it is that God wants you to. Hopefully. If anything that I read stands out to you or makes you feel something, uh, good, bad, indifferent, whatever, write it down because obviously it stood out to you. And ponder it, contemplate it, pray about it, ask a missionary, ask a Mormon, yeah. ask your neighbor. Um, be sure to take notes just in general, and if you want to follow along online, there's a link in the description you can use to do that. If you want to follow along at home, in your own physical copy of the Book of Mormon, you can get one by following a different link in the description, or you can send me an email at thetruthwhatwaffles at gmail.com, and I will send you a copy, not unlike this one, on my own dime. And that keeps you out of like the church database, and missionaries won't randomly show up at your house trying to teach you. And also, you get my testimony written on this blank page, the inside cover, anywhere that there's space. I'll even write it on the cover, like right here. I mean, not specifically right there, but in this area, not this corner. Okay, this is hard to do, but you know what I mean. We're the back. Um, there's another link in the description you can use to download the Gospel Library app, which will give you access to the Book of Mormon, the Pearl of Great Price, the Doctrine and Covenants, New, Co new uh, Testament, Old Testament, almost said New Covenant. Although there are covenants in there, new and old, but if by new you mean you want like the newest, the latest, and greatest covenant, I mean, it hasn't been revealed yet. So... But the newest so far is within this doctrine and scriptures. Uh, oh, it also has conference talks, which is like modern day revelation. Or it is modern day revelation. And yeah, you should totally check that out. And so that's for your Android, iOS, or Windows device. And yeah, you should check that out. Should request a Book of Mormon from the church, request one from me, download the app, and go to the website. Do do all of them. You know, just do it all. Be super, super studious. All right. <clears throat> and now it came to pass that after Alma had made an end of speaking unto the people of the church, which was established in the city of Zarahemla, he ordained priests and elders by laying on his hands according to the order of God to preside and watch over the church. And it came to pass that whosoever did not belong to the church, who repented of their sins, were baptized unto repentance, and were received into the church. And it also came to pass that whosoever did belong to the church, and did not repent of their wickedness, and humble themselves before God, I mean, those who were lifted up in the pride of their hearts, the same were rejected, and their names were blotted out, that their names were not numbered among those of the righteous. And thus they began to establish the order of the church, in the city of Zarahemla. Now I would that ye should understand that the word of God was liberal unto all, that none were deprived of the privilege of assembling themselves together to hear the word of God. Nevertheless, the children of God were commanded that they should gather themselves together oft, and join in fasting and mighty prayer in behalf of the welfare of the souls of those who knew not God. And now it came to pass that when Alma had made these regulations, he departed from them, yea, from the church, which was in the city of Zarahemla, and went over upon the east of the river Sidon, into the valley of Gideon, there having been a city built, which was called the city of Gideon, which was in the valley that was called Gideon, being called after the man who was slain by the hand of Nehor with the sword. And Alma 
went and began to declare the word of God unto the church which was established in the valley of Gideon, according to the revelation of the truth of the word which had been spoken by his fathers, and according to the spirit of prophecy which was in him, according to the testimony of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who should come to redeem his people from their sins, and the holy order by which he was called. And thus it is written. Amen. So thanks for watching. Hope you all had an awesome Thanksgiving. I'm going to do another video right after this that will be posting immediately afterwards on things I'm thankful for. So look out for that. Or don't. You know, whatever. Just totally ignore it and wait for my next Book of Mormon reading next week. So either way, thank you for watching. And save me a plate.